on what basis will your ex-wife or ex-partner prevent you from seeing your children? If both of you are no longer together, the going is no longer good, you are separated or you are divorced. On what basis will that woman prevent you from seeing your kids, prevent you from buying gifts for the kids, prevent you from taking the kids out, preventing you from calling the kids to speak to them, to wish them happy birthday or to wish them happy Merry Christmas and happy celebration and all of that. On what basis? Because I find it really difficult that your ex-wife or your part ex-partner will prevent you from seeing your kid. We're not talking about you seeing the woman now. We are talking about you or I am talking about you being able to see those children. They are your biological children. You understand? Some people have said, okay, now because he doesn't want you to see them because of X, Y reason. I don't think there's any rational lady. You know, she might prevent you from all other areas. But I don't understand the reason why she would definitely prevent you from giving money to the kids. She doesn't want your money. Is that what you are saying? Because I don't really understand. If you think you understand better, please leave it in the comment section for me. One of the reasons, or let me say a few reasons, why your woman your ex-wife or your ex-partner will not allow you to see your children after you are separated. We are talking about your children. And I don't think, except you've been very, very unfair to the kids or you, they, if you say you feel by the kids or you feel, other than that, if the court has no rules, say you no go feel see those kids, I don't see any reason why she will not say, okay, because you want to give them money. Don't take his money. Do we have any lady or such in the UK or in the US or Canada, Australia, that we say okay i don't want your money take your money and go every lady divorce or not divorce is interested in the money coming from the husband or from the ex-husband so in a situation whereby you use that as a yardstick to completely run away from the kids i really don't understand maybe maybe i'm not getting some things right or maybe some pictures are not well painted you get if you are separated from the woman fine you no longer have anything to do with the lady fine you are divorced. That's okay. But what about the kids that are involved? What about the kids that are involved? Because I posted a video a couple of weeks ago trying to say, okay, if you are separated from the mother, are you equally separated from the kids? Even if you are physically separated from the kids, your pocket no supposed to separate from the kids. You are supposed to still contribute your quota towards the progress of the kids. I said it. And some people were saying, oh, yeah, some ladies will prevent you from seeing the kids. How? Why? Why would they prevent you? The going, the going is no longer good between you and the woman. You understand? So why will the woman want to shoulder the entire responsibility by herself? Especially when the kids are still very young. They require so very much responsibilities. You have to cater for them. You have to bait them, take them to and fro school. You have to buy them clothes. You have to do all sort of things. Why will a lady, a woman, want to shoulder that responsibility, financial responsibility, domestic responsibility, physical responsibilities on the kids? Why will a lady want to shoulder such responsibilities? Why will you as a man buy goods, food stuff, items, and attempt to go and give it to the kids? And the lady will say, or the woman, the mother will say, no, don't bring it. We don't want your food. We don't want your money. I don't think there's any situation that will come up in sort, except if there are other reasons that I don't know about. But I look at it, I've thought about it very deeply, and I, I came up with the fact that there is no sort lady that will say, I don't want your money. I don't want you to spend money on your children. No. She might say, okay, because of one thing or the other, she doesn't want you to take the kids for like two weeks or one week, you know, depending on the level of your case. If your case has gotten to the court and court has said, okay, you know what? You can only have custody of these kids for like two days or three days, or you don't even have custody at all. But they will not even tell you, say, make you no know, give money to the kids. You understand? The money that is coming from your pocket as a man is an addition to helping to take care of the kids. I don't know if I'm not getting it right, but if I am not, please... Try and correct me. No insult. Try and correct me. Leave it in the comment section. You understand? It does not necessarily mean that if you and their mother are no longer together, you are still supposed to find a way to make sure you contribute towards the growth of these kids. That's what I believe. It's not like I'm trying to be one-sided. I'm not trying to be one-sided. I'm just talking about this very topic in relation to the fact that there is no woman, there is no lady that will prevent you from spending money on your children. That is exactly what I'm talking about. So don't don't hide under, under just one finger, behind one finger to say, okay, 
he, she is not giving me room to see the kids. She is not giving me room to spend money on them. She is not giving me room to buy them gifts or salt. I don't think there is any woman in our right senses that will prevent you from spending money on your children, though you are not together.